Hi, I'm Susie Coffer, and I'm very excited to be here today. It's a preview show of the upcoming Santa Barbara Jewish Festival, and uh, the festival is with Michael Lynch as well. We are thrilled to have a very special guest. The headliner of the Santa Barbara Jewish Festival this year is uh, the leader and the founder and the executive director of the Cole Sephardic Choir, Raphael Ortas, where he's in the studio with us today. Welcome, Raphael. Thank you for being here, and as I say, it's a very special uh, day today to have Mr. Artas with us, and um, he's going to be talking, we're going to be talking about uh, an amazing project that he has put together of the Sephardic Jews, and, and he represents the, the uh, Sephardic Jewish people, a CD that has just come out, a very long-awaited CD, and I really want to ask you about this, because it's, it's a, an incredible project. And it's Ladino Love Songs and Ballads from Spain, better known as? The uh, Las Romances y Cantigas de Sefarad. Now, um, I have been listening to this over and over again and reading it. There's actually a 30-page insert, mm -hmm. and a lot of it is historical about the history of the songs and the people, the Sephardic people. And I, and I would like to just start with something that's very precious and, and very, very sweet is a picture of your parents. Yes. It's on the, the first thing you have is a picture of your parents. It looks like it's from some time ago. Yes. And I'd is, like to uh, ask when this was taken, if you know, and I, where. I wasn't around when it was taken, <laughs> okay. I believe. Or uh. If I was, I was very uh, young. But um, it, uh, w they were fairly young. And um, I chose that picture because, again, it depicts the youth and uh, vitality, and they had a lot of it. And um, this whole project was uh, de dedicated to them uh, because uh, both my parents' ancestry come from Spain. And uh, that is uh, where the Sephardic Jews primarily or originated. And a lot of people ask, well, how did they get there? And uh, it's uh, very briefly, uh, it's a whole history, when uh, the Romans ruled Judea, at the time it was called, uh, there was a revolt in 70 AD. 70 AD. 70 AD. OK, we're going so back the, a bit here. <laughs> yeah, the Romans exiled the elite of the Jewish people uh, the, uh, to Rome. OK. And uh, it was a custom at the time, so because the, the elite usually were the danger to, again, to revolt against the, uh, uh, the, the rulers. And uh, from Rome, there was a split in that community after they established themselves in Rome. The, the Rome continued their conquest going towards Europe and to Germany. One column went to Germany. In Hebrew, Germany is Ashkenaz. Okay, the Ashkenazi Jews. And that's how right. the term Ashkenazi Jews wow. okay. was, uh, came about. I see. Another column went towards Spain. Okay. And Spain in Hebrew is Sephardad. Ah. That's where the term Sephardim right. came about. Okay. But uh, we also know that there, there was already a community in Spain, or especially in the island of Mallorca, from the time of King Solomon. Wow. And naturally, a culture developed of the Jews in Europe, and a culture developed the Jews in Spain. So we have two basic cultures that de developed independently in the diaspora. I see. That's very, very interesting. I think most people are familiar with European Jews. That's it right. It seems like the majority of people from New York that I grew up with and out here that you meet are from, their ancestors are European, but the Sephardic have a, have a different have a different. Uh, no, I origin. have uh, something else to tell you. But the first Jews that came to this continent were Sephardic Jews. 
And there is a belief. Uh, people feel that Columbus was a Sephardic Jew. Wow. And he, with his first expedition, there were quite a few Sephardic Jews coming with him on the first wow. trip. That makes so, sense. Yes. So that's when they first were leaving Spain. And that is correct. Interesting. I, I didn't know that. And the language, it sounds like from, from what I could hear on the recording and from how it's uh, the language of the, the title, it sounds like it's, it's Spanish. Well, it is Spanish because the Jews lived in Spain for a hundred and th uh, over a thousand years. But, you know, most people don't realize that Spain before Isabel and also during the Isabel and Ferdinand around the 1400s was split into many kingdoms. Like we have counties here, mm -hmm. they had kingdoms. I see. And each one was a kingdom. And uh, each of the kingdoms, they spoke some kind of a dialect of Spanish. Okay. The Jews were concentrated around Castile, around the center of the country. Mm -hmm. So the Spanish they spoke was Castilian Spanish. And uh, later on it was to re referred to as Ladino. Ladino because it comes from the word ladrar in Hebrew, which means to speak. So it means the spoken language of the Jewish people. So it was uh, wow. Ladino. So it was combined with, with some Hebrew as well? Well, it was, there was a few words of Hebrew but later on, after in 1492, after the, after the Jews were expelled from Spain, they traveled to different countries, to Yugoslavia, to the Mediterranean countries, to North Africa, to um, Yugoslavia, to Italy, to uh, Bulgaria, uh, Greece, and many of them went to Turkey. Some of them also went to Israel. And uh, so naturally, from there on, they picked up certain sayings, certain words sure. that they absorbed into the language. So in Yugoslavia, you'll find some Yugoslavian words. In uh, Turkey, you'll find some Turkish words and, uh, and so on. But basically, it's Castilian Spanish. Okay. Most of these songs that are on this CD are, are sung in Ladino, is that right? Yes, yes. Okay. They are in Ladino, which is Castilian Spanish. And uh, 